Hello, I am Emma Quinlan Baxter, and this is the teaser from a pilot I'm writing. New York, 1923. Interior Picture Palace, night. A decked out 1920s movie theater, packed audience. A pit orchestra begins to play its live prologue. Bouncy, vaudevillian. A xylophone stands out, bright and loud. Its player steps into view, holding four mallets per hand between each of his fingers, playing impossibly fast, almost a duet with himself. This is Harry Brewer, 22, radio sensation. Ladies and gentlemen, the boy wonder of the xylophone. The audience applauds loudly. Harry smiles, humble but charismatic. On stage, in front of the movie screen, a line of dancers emerges from the wings, their energy somewhere between flappers and ballerinas. In the wings, Marion Croson, 19, waits in line. Another dancer approaches her. Marion, remember the new turns in your spot then switched. Wait a minute, new turns? Nobody told me. Too late, it's Marion's turn. Flustered, she steps out. The xylophone picks up and so do the dancers. They're spinning one at a time, cut back and forth between Harry's quick mallets and Marion's turns teetering close to the edge until Marion spins directly off the edge and falls into the pit, thud. The audience gasps. Harry looks up, shocked, but his arms keep playing. He sees that Marion has ended up in the lap of the trombone player directly across from him. Excuse me, I'm still playing here. They all laugh. Harry reaches out for Marion's hand while he keeps playing with his other four mallets. Impressed, she takes it and helps, and he helps her up and boosts her back on stage. Marion curtsies to laughter and applause. Harry smiles, blushes as he keeps on playing. Roll title sequence, The Girl Wonder of the Xylophone. Amazing, should we stop the recording? Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, can you believe that actually